Hey folks, Earth is in trouble. This keeps happening. Despite the relatively weak solar storm activity we've been getting, the impacts to Earth have been vastly greater than expected. Last night it happened again. Solar wind dynamic pressure from solar flare erupted plasma appeared that it maybe should have produced a level 1 solar storm, but a level 3 was reached, with aurora visible from Arizona. Normally, I'd have expected this event to make aurora around the polar region only, but this is the fifth time this has happened this year, where the northern lights were visible from either Arizona or Florida during a solar storm that nobody expected to be as big as it was. There is one explanation, and it's the explanation we've given over and over and what we were afraid we'd begin to see this solar cycle due to Earth's weakening magnetic field. Those subscribed to our e-magazine have seen several articles on this phenomena this year, along with plenty others on the magnetic pole shift happening now. Next issue comes out in about 10 days. Link is below. Again, Earth's magnetic field is weakening. This is our protective interface against energy from space, and with it weakening, we are seeing more and more earthly impacts from lesser and lesser space weather. God help us if we get the big one. A good related science discovery just came out and it's telling them a bit of what they probably should have already known. Observers, try not to laugh at them being surprised that the magnetic field protects us from energetic electron bombardment of the lower atmosphere. Despite the fact that our planet is in serious trouble due to the ongoing magnetic shift in the coming years, I will admit I'm enjoying this trend. Observers say something. Observers get called crazy for saying that thing, followed by the mainstream scientists coming out and saying the thing. If only it didn't spell the end of this age of Earth. Maybe the next one will be better. By the way, that CME we saw beginning to erupt in the morning show, I now see plasma emanating from around the entire central circle, which means there is a partial halo component and there's a good chance this eruption will impact Earth. I normally wouldn't expect much at all from a glancing blow impact off an M-class solar flare, but nobody expected much from the one last night either. I'll see you in the morning for the daily show. Be safe, everyone.